Welcome to Rolling Hills Radio. Join us for an hour of music and conversation from Shawbox in Jamestown, New York. Tonight's guest is Daryl Scott. Now please welcome our host, Ken Hardley. is underwritten in part by the Jamestown Gazette, the hometown newspaper with good news. Sponsorship is also provided by the National Comedy Center, the Great Blue Heron Festival, Lost Recording Studio in Jamestown, New York, and the Lakeside Ledger. Welcome to Rolling Hills Radio, brought to you from Shawbox, the club concert venue nestled in the entertainment district of the city of Jamestown, right across the street from the National Comedy Center. On Rolling Hills Radio, you'll hear grassroots Americana music from a wide range of genres. This episode, we're privileged to welcome to our stage one of the most respected figures in Americana music. Nominated for four Grammy Awards, he's written songs performed by the Dixie Chicks, Faith Hill, Garth Brooks, Guy Clark, Kathy Matea, and many, many more. He's collaborated as a session musician uh, with uh, people like Emmy Lou Harris, Olivia Newton-John, Chris Cornell, Hypnotic Clambake, and he was part of Robert Plant's Band of Joy, and uh, all music, and on top of all of that, he's a multi-instrumentalist, and all music said this about him. He is one of the hottest guitar pickers on the planet. So please welcome to the Rolling Hills stage, going, doing his song, his Americana Song of the Year of 2007, Hank Williams' Ghost. Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Scott. Thank you, thank you, Ken. Yeah. 
In the early morning hours Just before you're wide awake Before you summons all your powers To cover up your big mistake When all the coulda, woulda been They collide with shoulda known You shoulda known all your rage and all your angst till Billy Sands Have an odor all their own oh, But it's alright, it's okay You will learn to look the other way Life is short, oh life is long Hey, get your guitar and sing this song La da 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 You're kicking back the covers Yeah, now you're ready to make your stand You never really ever ever thought that you were quite like all the others No, you had such promise in your hand And you've studied truth and honor oh, But you did not pass the test Okay, you will learn to stand some other way Like on your knees, or maybe on your back oh, Take one last breath and fade to black da 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 said it would be easy nobody said it'd be easy did they and nobody said it had to be this hard it had to be this hard right there. Holy cow. Well, keep practicing, Daryl. You're going to figure that guitar out one of these days. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a couple of words with you about Americana music, because you're considered to be one of the primary figures in Americana. What is Americana music? There's a lot of debate about that nowadays. Why don't you give us the right answer? 
Well, I don't know that I have the right answer, but I can tell you I was at the first Americana, well, it wasn't even called that, the first conference. And the subject on the floor was, what are we going to call this? <laughs> and uh, this was 1997, um, and it was up in Squam Lake, New Hampshire, Squam of all places. Lake. Squam Lake. And these were labels and radio and artists and different things that got together for that very first conference. They acknowledged that there's something going on that doesn't fit into folk or country or rock or blues or bluegrass, but it has something to do with all of that in a way. So they came up uh, with the word Americana. So what it is, I believe, is American culture, an Americana culture. And if you think of what America is as a culture, we are that melting part, pot. We are, you know, influenced by uh, African music, by slaves, and then, you know what I mean, literally the banjo the banjo came from Africa, sure. right? Yeah. So it's the melting pot. That's that's the Americana part to me. Right, right. The melting pot. Sometimes it's like a, a big quilt with a gospel and bluegrass and folk yeah. and traditional country. You do yeah. all of that. Now, yeah. if I have it right, you were raised around music. Your dad was a musician. Yeah. And you co-wrote with your dad, and you actually co-wrote a song called... Uh, the first one, me Memory? Yeah, with a memory like mine. With a memory like mine. Yeah. Would you mind playing that for I us? I will do that. Daryl Scott with a memory like mine. I can see the train coming. Watch that big light shine this way. Hear that whistle softly blowing Lord, it's been an awful day I watched him leave that Friday morning It was in the month of May I told my son, I said, son, be a good soldier But return again Someday. He did return just one year later Lord, I'll not forget that day The baggage car is where he traveled In a casket where he laid Train man, keep your whistle blowing Make it moan and make it wild You make a man feel mighty lonesome with a memory like mine, just like mine. In a little country graveyard, on a dark and dreary day, they placed a flag on the casket and the casket in the grave I couldn't stand it any longer and I knew not how to pray I just cried oh Lord, oh Lord I hate to leave him all alone beneath the clay train man keep your whistle blowing make it moan and make it whine you make a man feel mighty lonesome With a memory like mine Just like mine
And I can see him as a baby And I can hear him call my name And I can feel him on the fire And see him rising from the flame Lord, if I could, I would trade places I would gladly give my all I'd wrap that flag around me like a blanket and listen for the clouds to fall. Train man, keep your whistle blowing. Make it more, make it wine. You make a man feel mighty lonesome. Well, that memory like mine. Train man, keep your whistle blowing. Make it more, and make it wine. Make a man feel mighty lonesome with a memory like mine. Just like, just, just like, just like mine. Americana gets any better than that. Well, you just wait. It will. Well, we talked about all those subgenres, really, kind of subgenres, part of the melting pot of Americana music. And your first album of, uh, came out about 20 years ago now. Yeah, uh, maybe, yeah. maybe even over, a little over 20 years ago. A little over 20 years ago. Yeah. Aloha from Nashville. And in that album, it kind of, you know, let us know what was up because you did traditional country kinds of things. You did jazzy kinds of things. It was the Daryl Scott that we know that can do pretty much anything he wants. Uh, what was it like having that first album come out and having people respond so well to it? So my publisher down in Nashville at this time said, yeah, your record didn't come out before and all that kind of stuff. Um, how about if you just go down in the studio on demo money, which is a lot less money than making records, and make a, anything you want? So I made Aloha from Nashville. And there were some real jewels that came from that album, from that demo. Uh, You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive. Yeah, I got it for you right now, Harlan. You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive. You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive, Daryl Scott. hills of eastern Kentucky See that's the place where I trace my bloodline bloodline And it's there I read on a hillside gravestone Said you will never leave Harlan Alive. Well, my granddad's dad walked down Catherine's Mountain And he asked Tilly Helton to be his bride Said, won't you walk with me Out of the mouth of this holler Or we'll never Leave Harlan alive Where the sun comes up About ten in the morning And the sun goes down About three in the day And you fill your cup With whatever bitter brew you're drinking And you spend your life just thinking of how to get away No one ever knew There was coal in the mountains Until the man from the northeast arrived He was waving them a hundred dollar bills And he said, I'll pay you for your minerals 
But he never left Holland alive Granny, she sold out cheap And they moved out west of Pineville To a farm where Big Rich land a river winds And I bet they danced them a jig And they laughed and sang a new song Who said we'd never leave Harlan alive next song is uh, a song that I wrote while watching cartoons with my kids on a Saturday morning, which has only happened once, uh, the writing of a song, that is. I watched some cartoons more than once. But, uh, and then I realized, like, wow, this may have something to it. So uh, I did excuse myself from the cartoons, and I worked on it a little more diligently here. And the Dixie Chicks recorded this and had a big old hit before country radio knew that the subject was country radio <laughs> in the last verse, see? Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Scott. Now daddy sits on the front porch swinging Looking out on a vacant field Used to be filled with bird at a back And now he knows it never will Brothers found work in Indiana Sister's a nurse at the old folks' home Mama's still cooking way too much for supper And me, I've been a long time gone Yeah, long time gone Well, I ain't hold a rose since I don't know when Coming back again. Now, 
dear, you plays that old church piano Sitting out on her daddy's farm She always thought we'd be together Lord, I never meant to do her harm Said she could hear me singing in the choir Me, I heard another song I got wind and hit the road running Lord, I've been a long time gone Since I don't know when Long time gone And it ain't coming back again Playing down on Broadway Getting there the hard way Living from the tip of jar Sleeping in my car Hocking my guitar Yeah, I'm gonna be a star Now me and dear you sing every Sunday Watching the garden and the children grow We listen to the radio to hear what's cooking But the music ain't got no soul they sound tired, but they don't sound haggard. They got money, but they don't have cash. They got Junior, but they don't have Hank. I think, I think, I think the rest is long time gone. Well, I ain't hit the roof since I don't know when. Long time gone, and it ain't coming back. I said long time gone. Well, I ain't honked the horn since I don't know. with a lot more from Daryl, so hang on for a minute. We'll be right back. You are listening to Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hartley, episode 90. If you would like to be part of our live studio audience, log on to rollinghillsradio.org to get your ticket today or call the Rolling Ticket Hotline at 716-294-0416. We'll be back after the break with more from Daryl Scott. second half of our show begins in just a minute. Rolling Hills Radio is brought to you in part by the Jamestown Gazette and the National Comedy Center, named by Time Magazine as one of the world's greatest places. Sponsorship is also provided by the Great Blue Heron Festival and Lakeside Ledger. If you would like to be included on the Rolling Hills email distribution list, send your email address to ken at rollinghillsradio.org. To hear or view this episode and all past episodes of Rolling Hills Radio, log on to rollinghillsradio.org. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And now, back to Rolling Hills Radio.
Thank you, Julia Cecil Hanley. And we have lots more to go here from Jamestown, New York. We're broadcasting right up the hill from the banks of the mysterious Chattacoin River. And we'd like to mention our newest sponsor, the National Comedy Center, named by Time Magazine as one of the world's greatest places. And we are a non-commercial endeavor, so we depend on sponsors and underwriters for donations and foundation support. Thanks to all that support, you can find us on non-commercial outlets from coast to coast on Global Community Radio as well as the YouTube channel Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hardley. We are determined to stay independent of the pressure to appeal to a mainstream audience, so that means uh, getting out of the mainstream of the mass media, you will hear things that you've probably never heard before. For example, I was listening to a commercial, a non-commercial radio station the other day, and I found out that in 1923, jockey Frank Hayes won a race at Belmont, even though he was dead. <laughs> he suffered a heart attack mid-race, but his body stayed in the saddle until the horse crossed the line. <laughs> so... A belated congratulations to Frank Hayes. Well, Daryl's about to play another song for us. This is a song that you have not heard because it's on an unreleased album that will be released pretty soon. Ladies and gentlemen, with Kentucky Morning, Daryl Scott. <laughs> Who stayed behind while the others were going away to the mills of Chicago, to the plants of Detroit, for the promise of a five dollar day? They would come by in December while the folks were alive with gifts from the money they made, and they talk nights neath the bright city lights and wonder how I ever stayed and I tell them oh your bright lights don't shine like a Kentucky morning you can't hear a whippoorwill out on the street get me a good piece of land and an old cane bag of rocker while life goes on and on and on While life goes on and on I took the train out of Corbin And I headed up north Visit a brother of mine Said he'd talk to his foreman For to get me a job Working midnight assembly line And I was there with my brother Making factory pay But Lord, my soul was alone and It was four in the morning Shut down my machine And I told him I'm going home Oh, your bright lights don't shine Like a Kentucky morning You can't hear a whip the will Out on the street Give me a good piece of land And an old cane back rock While life goes on and on and on While life goes on and on
Daryl Scott with Kentucky Morning. Thank you. Daryl, maybe you can fill us in on some songwriting questions that I have. First of all, it seems to me songwriters fall into two camps. One is uh, that they need to really sit down and write until something comes to them. Tom Paxton, for example, says, I sit down every day and put pen to paper. There are other kinds of songwriters who say, inspiration hits me, and that's when I write the song. What about you? I've done both, but uh, the better songs traditionally come out of waiting for the inspiration. Because inspiration is almost like that extra thing in the room outside of the normal skill set that I would have of guitar or harmony or melody and lyric and stuff. But inspiration is that other thing in the room that makes the song better, that makes the vocal better, uh, that makes cooking better when you're inspired to cook. Sure. Or anything you do to take a walk or uh, to see a sunset and all that kind of stuff. That inspiration thing is the X factor. Um, and so I have written when I don't have that, but the song result is, sounds like a song that is without inspiration. Is without inspiration. Yeah, and, and I've kind of gotten to the point where I think the world is filled with enough songs without inspiration. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, now you have a song for us called The Ballad of Martha White. Yes, I do. <laughs> With The Ballad of Martha White, Daryl Scott. are just the same I got my southern heritage y'all I got my papa's name I fell in love with a little girl but I was six years old she had the name of Martha White she had her own radio show see Martha had a brand of flour for biscuits cakes and pies she had Shirley Temple golden curly hair and Southern baby blue eyes And on Saturday nights with my guitar I'd sit and play along I knew every word and every note To that Martha White Hour theme song Yeah, I did Folks took a vacation down to Nashville, Tennessee. Bought me a goo goo cluster and a front row seat to the Grand Ole Opry. And there before my childish eyes was that high, lonesome sound. But nowhere on that Opry stage was Martha to be found. Martha. found my Martha. She was out in the Opry Stars parking lot. She was cooling off them up and coming boys because they were billboard hot. And they were all drinking something out of a brown paper bag. And I knew I lost my Martha. The only love I ever had. Oh, they're all than the ones who went before Same old hat, same old voice Can they give us nothing more? They're all smiling for the cameras Walking softly, talking loud Martha, she still makes them biscuits greasy 
fluffy and proud. Proud, yeah, she's she's proud. your French croissant and you got all that Italian pastry chef voodoo just pop one of them suckers in your mouth salivate and chew but what you won't find on the shelves of the finest kitchens of this big old world is the face of our self-promoting self-perpetuating self-rising flower girl you only get in the Southland. That's where demographics b -b 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 best. See, it's the brand that mom and daddy bought. They just won't give that little girl a rest. And it's the same as it ever was from 50, 60, 70 years ago. No, she ain't mortal like you and me. This Martha White, she'll never grow old. Oh, no, better looking than the ones who went before they got the same old hat they got the same old voice can they give us nothing more they're all smiling for the cameras walking softly talking loud Martha she still makes them biscuits greasy fluffy and proud Proud, all right. For the finest biscuits, cakes, and pies, get more the white self rising flower, the one all purpose flower, more the white self rising flower with hot rise plus. Scott. <laughs> Darrell, I have a question for you about uh, the, this, what happened in that song. On the middle, you played an instrumental solo. Um, now, did you plan every note of that solo? Was that improvisation? Tell us about that, because I know you love improvising. Uh, it's, it's improvised. It's, I make it up a nightly or each time I get a chance to play uh, that solo or any other solo. Uh, or any other song, and it's a problem I have. I have a confession. I, ha I don't know how to play or sing the same way twice. I literally don't have it, so it's a muscle I don't have. So because of that, I make it up ish, kind of every time. Ish. <laughs> Ishmael. Call me. Yeah, well, it usually works out. Yeah, it usually works out okay, but... What it requires is a kind of fearlessness, which I have developed because um, I'm probably I am going to make mistakes uh, on the on the on the solos or the singing as a letter, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? <You> know? <laughs> right? Did you make any mistakes on that last song? What's that? How about that last song? Did you make any mistakes? Because I'm sure none of us noticed. If yeah, you yeah, I did. It was kind of in the first <laughs> third, <laughs> but I, I recovered. You know, I re recovered okay. Yeah, nice job, Daryl. Okay. Well done. <laughs> well, you have another song for us. Yes, I do. It's 23 minutes long. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. Oh, you're going to play Inagata De Vida? Is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, with a 23-minute song, and we'll let Daryl get, get himself ready for this. I have a, a funny little story on this one. Um, 
So the same song, that's 23 minutes, actually, it's probably about seven. But um, I was on London radio, a big show, like it was a big deal, and they only had a four minute slot. And I was slotted to do this song, and I thought, you know what, I always like a challenge. I'll try to turn this seven minute song into four, uh, and uh, I'll never do that again. Because what I did was all the spaces, I just jammed it all together and basically sabotaged my own song to fit into that four minute slot. I'll never do it again. And, but uh, I did one time in London on, on a kind of a big deal radio thing. All right, well, let's hear the seven minute one. Okay, here's seven minutes. <laughs> Daryl Scott. <laughs> Y'all deserve the whole thing, not the four minute thing. You see what I mean? Does this river ever rise out here? Does it flood? Or they got that under control? Because this song is about a flood on a river. It's been rainy and windy for seven days straight. I've been going to bed early and getting up late I look out my window and it's one shade of gray All my wife and my kids, they don't have much to say A man out of work only gets in the way Oh, the river is rising now, one foot an hour and tonight we'll be lucky if we still have power But I got a flashlight, an oil lamp, and I'm ready to go And a fresh set of batteries for my son's radio If the dam really breaks, at least we'll know where to go River, take me, river, take me, river, take me far from trouble times. River, take me, river, take me, river, take me far from trouble times. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, if I a boat, you know what I'd do? I'd float me and my family down to Baton Rouge. I wouldn't work in no factory, I'd live off the land. And live within means of my own two hands. Dance Saturday night to a Zydeco band. drown you boys or it can wash you clean it can 
and take you away to some other place. We can power your cities, carry your waste, and give all you drink a peculiar taste. Oh, don't look to me, I've done my time. It's just that I've had too many dreams for this one heart of mine. I stood on the bridge with the river below Feeling all the sadness that a proud man could hold Oh, the river's full, but there's no way to go River, take me, river, take me, river, take me, yeah Oh, river, take me, river, take me, river, take me Take me far from troubled times. Oh, 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 Scott. Well, you know, Edgar Allan Poe said, sometimes I'm terrified of my heart, of its constant hunger for whatever it wants. And Daryl brings us face to face with what terrifies us in our hearts and makes it all seem tender and endearing and very, very human. You can make us laugh and appreciate what's delightful in our existence. And the song we're going to do now is about just that. It was the Carter family's theme song. And it's been done by Lester Flatt, Johnny Cash, Merle Haggard, Frank Sinatra, and lots more. It was on the first Will the Circle Be on Broken album with John McEwen on mandolin. And you can hear a wonderful rendition of this tune on Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Is there anything I forgot about this song, Daryl? It's very positive. Yeah. <laughs> It's very positive, and as a matter of fact, the studio audience is going to sing along, and for those of you listening yeah. on the radio, whether you're driving in your car or listening to it in your, at your breakfast table, sing along with us, and it'll make your day better. And honk your horn as well. Sing along and honk the horn. It doesn't matter that the people next to you don't know why you're honking, okay? <laughs> a dark and a troubled side of life There's a bright and sunny side too But if you meet with the darkness and strife Oh, the sunny side we also may view Oh, keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day It will brighten all our ways If 
we keep on the sunny side of life Though the storm and its fury break today Crushing hopes that we cherish so dear Storm and cloud will in time pass away The sun will again shine bright in the sunny side, always on the sunny side, keep on the sunny side of life, it will help us every day, it will brighten all our ways, if we keep on the sunny side of life. So let us greet with a song of hope each day Though the moments be cloudy and fair Let us trust in our Savior always To keep us everyone in His care Won't you keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day It will brighten all our ways If we keep on the sunny side of life Yeah, keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life it will help us every day It will brighten all our ways If we keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side We keep on the sunny side of the life Thank you for sharing your time with us Thank you, Daryl Scott. I'm Ken Hartley. We'll see you next time on... You've been listening to Rolling Hills Radio, episode 90. Special thanks to Daryl Scott. The Rolling Hills Radio cast and crew are the unblinking eye of the boss, Kathy Hartley, audio Steve, can you hear this now, Chapel, Balancing an olive on his nose, Diamond Dick Poole. Stage manager, Brianne here. I'll move that, Fidel. Food taster, Tom Fidel. Switch flicker, Nicole Chapel. Folding laundry, Susan George. Missing his landline, Jim Goodling. Video, Cranky Play Productions. And fire extinguisher monitor, Ed Tomasini. I'm Julia Cisla Hanley, reminding you to wait for the little blinking man before crossing the street. Please join us next time on Rolling Hills Radio with Ken Hartley.